hello everybody it is now the weekend i just finished getting ready i'm gonna head out and run some errands i did use my new hourglass leopard palette which i'm loving um i know the sephora sale is coming up so i would highly recommend it i use the bronzer i mix these two blushes together i use the highlight which i don't often use highlight anymore um i'm not a huge fan of highlight like the you know lit from the sky you can see it from the sky i should say i don't like that so i like a really subtle highlight i feel like this one is really good and then i also used this powder here under my eye i also used in that sephora favorite kit that i showed in my last video honestly it is one of the best sephora favorite kits ever so i would also re recommend that but i used the over there i can't grab it i used the huda beauty i think it's called the easy bake powder i want to call it that but it might not be um under my eyes and that really worked well and then i also put on this which i showed in my last video which is the maracuja juicy lip plump in the color mixed berries i also really like the primrose color that's in my work bag but i love this it just makes such a glossy beautiful lip so i'm definitely going to pick up more of these during the sephora sale and then update on the botox i don't like it <laughs> so i don't like that my face is frozen so I, that's as much movement as i can get but one of the main reasons why i don't like it is that i experienced major migraines which it's funny because I know that people get Botox to treat chronic migraines, but I read up on it and there's so many different dermatologists and doctors that say if it's your first time getting Botox, you there's a certain number of people that can experience really bad migraines, typically a week or two weeks after they get it and that's what I got. So for about two days, I just felt nauseous, my head pounded, like I had such a bad headache and I usually don't get headaches. So. I didn't like that aspect of it. I think one of the other reasons that I really don't like it is because it's changed my eye shape. And you might not be able to notice it, but I notice it because I see my face every day and I put on makeup and I know it's changed my eye shape 100%. And I think one of the main reasons why I don't like it is because I have very hooded eyes and I have an uneven eyelid. As you can see, there's like a double eyelid there and this one doesn't have one. I feel like the Botox has made this double eyelid more pronounced for some reason but when i go to put on my makeup like a normal person i would raise my eyes to put on my eyeliner even doing that gives me a bit of a headache like there's so much pressure here and i can't do that and because i have such hooded eyes i need to see like i need to be able to lift it but i can't so what i physically have to do now is hold this is a really unflattering shot i have to hold my eye up with one hand and draw my eyeliner on do the same like hold my eye up curl my lashes put on mascara put on my false lashes and even with my false lashes now i have to wear them really long typically i trim them a lot more i have to wear them really long because my eyes are just the it's it's messed with my eyes so now i feel like they're more hooded than they were before but i don't like it so i guess i'll be saving money by not getting it and I can spend it on other things <laughs> that's the girl math right so um that's my update I do have two things to show you I'm really excited I got some packages in the mail yesterday I'm going to show you what I got because one of them is a new handbag and it is by Lil Weve which I would say is probably my favorite brand and I wish I could buy more but they're just so expensive so I'm going to take you over there where the light is better and we are going to do an unboxing. Lighting here is so much better because I have a giant window behind me and if you film then you know natural light is where it is at. So I have two items or two packages to show you. One of them I've already unboxed because like I mentioned I got it yesterday and I don't know what happened. Well I do. I can probably guess. Yesterday it was raining really hard. It was a torrential downpour in Vancouver. And the box was super wet. It was just, it was at my door when I got home. It was very wet and it was a little bit muddy. So I think that the poor FedEx driver just had a really rough day. And I appreciate all the delivery people because 
here in Vancouver, like I mentioned, it rains all the time and I see them and I feel for them because it's rough when it's raining really hard. So anyway, I already unboxed it, but it is new bedding, which is perfect because my bedding right now definitely needs to be changed. It's just, it's older and it's just not feeling as good. And I really feel like sheets can make a huge difference with your sleep quality and because we spend what is it like a third of our time in bed sleeping it's really important to invest in some good sheets so um i got some items from brook linen they kindly sent this to me they are sponsoring this part of the video but really what they are all about is bringing luxury quality home goods at affordable price point i've heard of brook linen many times because i follow Tony Subdallas, who's another Canadian YouTuber. Um, she is way bigger than me, obviously, and she is just so gorgeous. And I remember her always showing her Brooklinen sheets, and I was like, okay, I need to get on this Brooklinen train. So while I had heard of Brooklinen through Tony, they are tried and true. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews, more than any online bedding company. And I'm excited to show you what I got. It was a little bit tricky deciding what colors I want to get. Um, the cool thing about Brooklinen is that you can mix and match, which is amazing because sometimes when you buy sheet sets online, you can only choose one color, but you want a little bit of an accent or a little bit of pop of color. So Brooklinen allows you to mix and match and they have over 20 different colors and patterns. They have some seasonal colors right now, which I was debating, but then I ended up just going with a neutral because I'm always gonna be a neutral girl at heart. So I got the hardcore bundle, which has everything that you possibly need. And I got mine in the Luxe Sateen, which is cotton. I love the feel of cotton. And because my husband is a fairly hot sleeper, we need our sheets and our duvet cover to be breathable. And that's always gonna be cotton. The Luxe Sateen's just elevated. It's a higher thread count. So it's 480 thread count. It has um, that kind of sheen to it. And it just has almost like a smooth, silky feel. Sorry, my camera died, but I believe I was talking about the Luxe Sateen sheets and how they're an elevated cotton. They're very silky, they're very buttery, and they're perfect for all year round. Um, so as I mentioned before, I got the hardcore bundle, which means that I'm saving 25% off as opposed to getting all the pieces individually. So the first item, I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little bit noisy. And this is the duvet cover, and I got this in the cream color. And then I also got the core sheet set and this comes with a flat sheet a fitted sheet and two pillowcases again in that cream color and then i got some extra pillowcases in this beautiful graphite color we have some gray in our bedroom so i think that this is going to match really well and that's what i love about brooklinen like i mentioned before with the classic and the luxe sheet sets you're able to mix and match between 20 different colors and patterns so if you want a different core sheet set a different color with the duvet color different um, pillowcases, then you have that ability to mix and match and really make the bedroom your own. And right now they are running their friends and family sale until October 30th. So you can save an extra 20% off your order. So whether that's the sheets or towels, definitely take advantage of the sale, buy something for yourself to elevate your bedroom, to elevate your bathroom, or buy it as gifts because it's gifting season and the now is the perfect time. Don't wait until December. So I just finished making the bed and I love it. It feels super silky. Please ignore all the wrinkles. Like I said, I did wash it, so I still need to steam it. Um, but I love the color, the cream with the graphite pillowcases in the back. Um, I think it just goes with our room really nicely, like I said, because we do have a lot of gray and black in the room, but it feels really nice, super silky, really smooth. I can't wait to go to sleep tonight and then we'll update you in the morning. Moving on, I have a handbag to show you. I picked it up from Farfetch um, and it is by Loewe. I have not opened this up. I am so excited. This was not on my wish list. This was, I wouldn't say it was an impulse buy, but it was something that I saw and then immediately wanted it. <laughs> so like I mentioned, the bag that I had on my wish list was the puzzle tote, the one that's foldable, which is still on my wish list. But this one I had not seen before and I can't remember where this came from. So that is the name right there. I believe it's just pronounced Academy, but it came from the Netherlands. So very excited to open this up. 
Here is the packaging. And like I said, not on my wish list. Did not even know that this piece existed. And then this is the actual Loewe dust bag. So you can tell it is a smaller piece. It's not an SLG, but it is a smaller piece. So, oh, I really hope that this works because I think I don't have anything like this. And yeah, let's just check. Okay, together. Okay, there's the color. It is... Okay, what are they called? A sling bag. It is like um, a sling style bag and I got it in this color which I believe is sand which is this very cool toned taupey color. It's sort of, I don't know if it's coming up, I think it's coming up true to color even though the light keeps going in and out but it's this cool toned taupey beige and it has this option here to where it is a sling bag. So I had never heard of this. Like I mentioned, this came from the men's side um, and then I was immediately drawn to it. I always check the men's side or the kids section as well. So it's called the Vertical Tea Pocket and it's in the gray and calfskin. Now on the Leve and Farfetch, so this is the thing that's kind of throwing me off. Um, the color is much more kind of warm I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I'll insert a picture, um, but it's more of like a warm color. And this is very much more of like a cool toned gray. So I was expecting, and it's in the color sand. So I don't know if this is the color sand. It definitely looks a little bit different. So the reason why I got this, I Googled this because I, want, I always wanna see if there's any reviews on it. There's no reviews. And there was all, because it's from the men's line, there was just, you know, constantly males modeling this. However, on a pre-love site, they had um, a female modeling it. And I got to kind of see what it would look like on. I loved it. I loved it so much. I loved the look of it. And she, the way she was wearing it, I'll insert a picture, was very slouchy, like low slung. So I just thought it looked so cool. But... When you actually look at it here, so there's the really big anagram and it is debossed, as you can kind of see there. So I love it because it is that kind of quiet luxury. You can't really see the logo very well. It's kind of hidden. And then why I also really liked it is that there is um, a pocket in the back for your phone. Now, when I was looking at this and I was looking at the measurements, I took out my Loewe tea pouch, which you know I love. It's my catch-all in a lot of my tote bags. It is. It was the same width as my tea pouch um, here. So I knew that with my tea pouch, even though it's you know that wide, it can expand on um, this part here. So I knew that I would like that aspect of it. So um, it has that pocket in the back. It has a strap so you can wear it a couple of different ways. I will do some mod shots. You can wear it higher up, you can wear it down, but it's mainly to be worn as a crossbody. And then it just has um, the silver hardware, which I obviously love on handbags. Let's open her up because I have not, like I said, looked in here. That's just the authenticity. And then it's just easy. It's easy peasy. There's nothing really in there. It has sort of the signature Loewe um, canvas that you always find and then it has one slip pocket. I knew it, it said it had one slip pocket but I mean could you even use that as a pocket? You can see it right there. I guess you could put one credit card in there but um, that is it. So it is pretty minimal and it is fairly small. You have my phone here. I have the iPhone 14 Pro. This is gonna tell me whether or not Okay, so perfect, it fits in. Actually, it can go down even farther, I think. I did just Google it and it looks like th this is the normal sand color. I watched a bunch of puzzle unboxings with um, girls that have the sand puzzle and it's all this gray kind of taupey color. Even though online, on the web and like every site, it's more of a warm toned beige it's so weird now that I have all my essentials you can sort of see what it looks like it's very similar to the tea pouch it's just probably about half the size of my tea pouch so here's what it looks like on I just have on my skims bodysuit and I threw on this chunky oversized sweater from the gap 
These are by A Gold E. They are the Kai mid-rise jeans. I am loving mid-rise. And I just have on my home sandals, so ignore those. But this is what it looks like on, and I love it. I think it's the perfect grab-and-go kind of bag. You can wear it kind of like this, so it looks like a harness. That's kind of like how it was being modeled on the Loewe site. Or you can put it off to the side like that, or you can kind of wear it at an angle. I do really love this color, especially with all black. I just think it looks so nice, and I love how sort of quiet luxury and minimal it is with just the large anagram, but it is um, debossed, so it just looks cool. I love it. Just such a cool grab-and-go bag. Farfetch was having a 15% off their app, and a lot of Loewe items were eligible. Even the new Puzzle Edge bag, there was a dual toned um, with like the dark kind of tan and black, which was stunning. That was on sale. So, or that applied with the discount. So all in with the 15% off, I paid $1,283.50 Canadian. And I should get going now because it is getting later in the day. Yes, I got to get going. So I will see you guys in a bit. We're gonna go get some Korean food here at Chi Ba. We ended up getting the mandu, uh, but we ate it before I was able to take a picture of it. And then the bibimbap, and please excuse how I'm pronouncing it because I know I'm not pronouncing it all correctly. And that was really good. This one was tofu. They did have the egg on top of it, but they did have a vegan version. And then we also got the kimbap, which they're very well known for. And this was the vegan version of it. It was so yummy. Just went and got groceries. I'll do a haul when we come home. Everything is getting so expensive. Um, we didn't go to Costco because it is Sunday. No, it's Saturday and Costco's scary. And we got coffee. Well, I got coffee and it's past. Last time he gave that fact that you shouldn't be drinking caffeine after two and we're kind of breaking that now, but. Breaking the rules. <laughs> but. I got a pumpkin spice latte. I haven't got one with the oat milk. I haven't had one of these yet this year. I think every year I get one and then I kind of get my fill of it because it can be a bit much. And then he got a... Uh, matcha latte. A matcha, a matcha latte. Here's beans. Wish me meow. <laughs> Hi. Me meow. She smells like... She smells like her dinner. We just fed her. So yeah, I'm gonna make the pizza dough. Pizza dough is only, if you think about the ingredients, it's flour, a little bit of sugar. You don't even need to add sugar. Um, yeast, salt, and water, that's it. So super easy to make. So pizza dough is done. It's been sitting for about maybe 10 minutes now, but I wanna get that to double in size. I did put some um, Italian seasoning in there. And then banana bread I'm making is vegan. So the other thing that I really like about this recipe, other than the fact that you probably have all these ingredients at home, um, is that it's one bowl. So you get the wet ingredients together. So I just mashed the bananas, added in the brown sugar, added it in vanilla, added in the melted coconut oil. Um, and then I add the dry ingredients. So the flour, the cinnamon, the baking soda, um, there's no salt, but I usually like to add a pinch of salt in. Uh, I'll list this recipe down below because it is so easy. And then uh, you're adding. So you could do walnuts, you could do uh, chocolate chips, you could add in whatever you want. So the banana bread just came out and I'm just gonna wait for it to cool down. And here are the pizza. So that's Andrew's on the right and then mine there with all the jalapenos on the left. So we're gonna eat now. It's pretty late, it's about 8.30. I'm currently compiling my Sephora wish list. So Good morning, everyone. It is now 9.45. I've been up since about 7. I didn't have the best sleep because I had way too much caffeine yesterday. So I had coffee in the morning. Um, I had that pumpkin spice latte. And then at dinner, I also had uh, Zevia, but the cola version. So I stayed. I woke up at 7 and I just stayed in bed for an extra couple of hours. And the sheets, I will say though, the sheets are very nice. And Andrew also really likes the sheets. They're very, they're so soft and silky, even though they're cotton. So major upgrade, I will say. Brooklinen sheets, I get the hype now. Um, so I'm just having coffee and I am rolling my face with this ice roller because I also feel like I'm a little bit puffy. I think today is just gonna be a self-care day. So 
Um, sometimes I, not even sometimes, a lot of the times I don't take care of myself as much as I should. And I feel like that's a lot of people. Um, I've just been instilled to work, work, work so hard my whole life. And I just don't take enough time for myself. So today I'm going to do a couple face treatments and just relax and take some time for myself because I feel like I really need it. I did my morning routine today. He already worked out and now he's gonna go read and have his coffee and I'm gonna have a self-care day. Remember to do your 315s everyone. It's what you do in the morning that affects how you sleep at night, at least according to the sleep doctor. So 15 deep breaths when you wake up. 15 ounces of water and 15 minutes of outdoor time for uh, UVB, which is, as most of you or all of you or some of you or some of you may not know, um, UVB goes into vitamin D, which is also important for sleep. see I feel like the microcurrent like right away you always see like an initial kind of glow to the skin but um, I just did my regular skincare so I did my vitamin C serum and then my hydrating serum and then just my daily um, moisturizer as well as sunscreen so let's eat I am so hungry so here we go I have my sweet one and I have my savory one I like a ton of dill on mine. If you haven't tried dill on avocado toast, you need to try it, whether it's fresh dill or dry dill, so good. And then I'm also gonna have one of these, I've been having them every day, um, the Ginger Defense. These ones are from Costco. Both Andrew and I really like these. So that is going to be my lunch. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and it was a hair a wash day. I know you're not supposed to put your hair back, but I can't have wet hair on me. I don't like the feeling of that. I'll put on my mask. So this is the Dr. Dennis Gross mask. Sometimes I, I know I look crazy. Sometimes I do this while I'm in bed, but really you're supposed to put it on when you don't have any product. And I usually just hold it because it doesn't, unless you're lying down, sometimes I find it doesn't stay the best. So I'm gonna put this on for about three minutes. And then after that, I have this Rovectin Skin Essentials Treatment Lotion. I've almost done it. I really like this. Now, in case you are wondering, I have very sort of dry, dehydrated skin. So I'm going to try the Glow Recipe. I got this in my FabFitFun box. So generally, I'm not super uh, loyal to any sort of... Um, plumping or hyaluronic serum i will kind of try everything this one has a scent to it i generally don't like a ton of fragrance if i can avoid it but it's okay we can go with it feels nice it's very very liquidy and then i always put everything down my neck and extra onto my hands there and then um, I have my allies of skin, my retinol. I'm almost out of this one. I have one more backup. My beauty of Josion. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's the ginseng and retinol eye cream. And I'll also put that on. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, I won't because I already put the allies of skin. Last but not least, I get a moisturizer on. I've been using, I've used this one for quite some time. Again, I'm not super loyal to this one. I just, I have it. Um, I also have the Murad one. I got my FabFitFun box and I have to try. I have my Public Good cream. So I just need something to keep everything locked in because like I said, that Allies of Skin is not enough for me. So I'm just going to cut myself a piece of banana bread and then we are going to watch a show. And that is going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to go and check out the friends and family sale at Brooklyn and get yourself some towels, some bed sheets, 
get in for Christmas gifts, but the sale ends on October 30th, so definitely take advantage of that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!